Praise the Lord. The Christian Assembly Dubai brings to you a Bible study series by evangelist John Kurian titled Seven Letters, Seven Churches. These messages were recorded at Holy Trinity Church Compound, Dubai, UAE. May God bless the hearing of his word. We have come to the fifth church. That is the church at Sardis. It is called the Dead Church. Or it can be called the Hypocritical Church. Shall we turn to chapter 3 of the book of Revelation? And we will read the first six verses. Revelation chapter 3 verses 1 to 6. Sardisle, Sabir de Duden Edega. They was in the air at Maum, Ed Natchatro Mulavan, Arliche in the Yan in the property are in no. Jeevan Ulavan and the Neneka Pair under Engilum, Nimaricha and Agunu, Unar the Vulga, Chava Raya Sheshikula Shakti Riga, Yan in the property and the Devas in the Sunday, Puna de Vula like Kandila, Agia the Prabi came, Kerl came, Cheda, Engane and North, Adakatu Vulla game, Manasandra Pedigan Chega, Ni Unara Dina, and Kalanekolaverum. Before before we go on to study about this church, let me say a few things about this place. Sardis was one of the greatest cities in the ancient world. Ancient world. There was a kingdom called the Lydian kingdom and Sardis is the capital of the Lydian kingdom. This is approximately 50 miles east of Ephesus and uh, there was a, this was a great junction where five roads from different places met. So it was a great trade center, also a military center. Their main uh, source of wealth was gold. There is a river called Pactolus near this place. And uh, they used to get gold, they used to take gold from that river. Gold and silver coins were first minted in this place. And uh, uh, another main industry there was wool and garment. Wool dyeing that is giving color was first invented in this place. And religiously the main goddess uh, was Artemis. And today the name of the place is Sart, S-A-R-T. <coughs> so this is about this place. So this was a very important place and, uh, and uh, a well-known place. 
ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു now there was a great man called melito melito എന്ന് പറയുന്ന ഒരു വലിയ മനുഷ്യൻ ഉണ്ടായിരുന്നു he is from this place അദ്ദേഹം ഈ പ്രദേശത്ത് നിന്നുള്ളവനായിരുന്നു what is special about him is അദ്ദേഹത്തെ കുറിച്ച് പ്രധാനമായി പ്രത്യേകമായി പറയാനുള്ളത് he is the first man who ever wrote a commentary to the book of revelation വെളിപാട് പുസ്തകത്തിൽ ആദ്യമായ ഒരു വ്യാഖ്യാനം അല്ലെങ്കിൽ അതിനെ വിശദീകരിച്ച് എഴുതിയ ഒരു വ്യക്തി ഇദ്ദേഹമായിരുന്നു now he wrote the first commentary on the book of revelation വെളിപാട് പുസ്തകത്തിൽ ആദ്യമായ ഒരു വ്യാഖ്യാനം എഴുതിയ വ്യക്തി ഇദ്ദേഹമായിരുന്നു he was an apostle just that is a defender of christian faith christian vishwasathinte pradirodhikkunna oru vyakti aayirunnu adeham and he is the most well known person christian from this place aa pradesham nariyappadunna ethu maharaya christian vishwasi adeham aayirunnu he lived there the second uh, late second century adeham randa randa nootaandinte avasara bhagathu avade vasichirunnu and he is a well known christian adeham valare ariyappadunna oru christian vishwasi aayirunnu now as we come to this uh, uh, study of this church ami sabhe sabhayilekku padikkuvanai kadannu varumbol the first thing that we notice is that it was a dead church and nam aadhyamayi namukku kaanuvanayittu sadhikkunnathu adu oru marichu sabhayayirunnu that's a very sad description of any church oru sabhaye kurichu parayan kadina valare dukhakaramaya oru vishadhikaranamayittu adirikkunnu how about our churches nammada sabhagal engane undu are they dead or living adu marichu sabhayayittirikkunnu adho jeevanulla sabhayaano you know once two people were talking ഞങ്ങളുടെ <laughs> said come come on show me from the bible ah macha vyakti paranju enikku adu vadanathu ninnu kaati theruga then he said the bible says the dead in christ shall rise first ah veda vasam ingena parayunnu christuvil marichavar aadhyam uyarkum ennu parayunnu so i think many of our churches are getting ready to go first ah njan ingena vicharikkunnu nammal pala sabagalum aadhyam poguvan thayaraduthu kondirikkaya so sir this was a church like that sardeesi prakaram ullu oru sabhayayirunnu and the lord himself says that it is dead karthavu thanne thaan thanne parayunnu idu oru marichu sabayanu now sinful living and evil doctrines that probably put out the light in this church paavathoda paavathinte jeevithavum adu pole thanne thattaya upadeshangalum ee avarada jeevithathile velakkine ketti kalaiyuvanade aayichirunnu now in this letter we don't read about any wrong doctrine ana ee oru kathil oru thattaya upadeshathe kurichu vaayikkunnilla we don't read about any sinful living or adultery or immorality paava jeevithavum asanmarge jeevithavum onnum thanne naan vaayikkunnilla but as i told you yesterday ennal yan innale parannathu pole there is a pro- progressive re- deterioration of morality and purity as years go by sanmargeyade vishuddhiyade kramanugathamaya oru thaalcha namak ore sabagal kodi kaanuvanayittu sadhikkunnu in the first church ephesus onnamathe sabaya ephesusil they had only fallen avar veenadu mathrame undayirunnullu but here these people are dead naan ivide kadannu varumbol ivar da marichirikkunnu they fell these people die avar veenu engilla ivar ivide marichirikkunnu so falling uh, coldness in their love avara snehathil undayirunna thadappil avaru veenu poi slowly it came down adu alpamayittu adu thaalekku poguvanai aarambichu here the light is almost completely put out ivide da aa velicham egadesham adu avasanikkarayirikkunnu no sign of life jeevante oru thaluvum avada kaanuvan sadhikkunnilla and as you come to the last church now dishya avasana samaya levodike samayile kadannu varumbol the lord says you are lukewarm you are neither hot nor cold kadha avare kurichu parayunnu nee sido I will spew you out of my mouth. Ya nenne ninde vaayil ninnu minnu velai vannu kartha parayunnu. So things are getting bad to worse as we go from church to church. Mosham avasthayil ninnu valare mosamaya avasthayilekku oru sabagal pondoru kadannu pogiyana avasara karyangal. That is true historically also. Adu charitravaramaya satyam thaniyana. So there are reformations and revivals in between. Idinde madhyathil navigaranam unaru okkey undayittundengilum. We will see that in Philadelphia. Philadelphia sabhayil adu kaanum. Generally speaking things are getting bad to worse. Ah puduvai parayanengil kaaryangal valare moshamayi kondirikkana. The world is also getting bad to worse. Logam thanneyum moshathil valare moshamavunna oru avasarathilekku pogiyana. Please remember that the world is not going to get any better. Priyapettavare idu orthu kolluga logam ini idil kudal mechamaguvan pogunnilla. As the coming of the Lord draws nigh, ah kathavinu varu adichirikkumbol 
things are going to be much uh, worse. We sometimes think that everything will become all right. Slowly the recession problem is getting over. And many of us are hoping that things will be bright tomorrow. Well, the recession problem may be over, but some a worse problem might come. I was doing a study of the uh, of a chapter in the book of Timothy recently. And uh, in that chapter, uh, chapter 3, it says that in the last days, fierce times will come. 2 Timothy 3, that's what I'm talking about. All of you know that passage. There it says, know this. That in the last days, fears or terrible times will come. You know that word fears used there is the word used for that demon possessed man in the gospels. You remember the demon possession? There it says no one could walk that way because he was so fierce. That is the word used in Timothy for, for, for the last days. Fierce times, terrible times, perilous times will come. And as you read on, you know there that uh, that particular word is uh, also, it also means savage, that is wild. That is the time in which we are living. And as you read on, you know there it says about the character of man, how that will be. Have you noticed that that passage says that in the last days, people will be terrorists. That is the word terrorist. When is it written? When was it written? 2000 years ago. When did you come to know the word terrorist? Maybe 10 or 15 years ago. The Bible said it thousands of years ago. Okay, now, even as you read the history of uh, the, the uh, letters to these churches and examine the characteristics of these churches, you see that as years go by, churches are going from bad to worse. But in the midst of that, I mentioned this yesterday, there is a small remnant. See, in the first churches, we don't read about the remnant. It is just the whole church. But from the church that we considered yesterday, that is the Athira, there it says there are some among you who have not followed the ways of Satan. In this letter, Sadi's letter also, there also it says there are some among you who have uh, uh, who have been faithful. In the first letters, that remnant is not mentioned. But in the latter letters, it is not just the whole church. Some from among you. And when it comes to Laodicea, what's the picture? If any man will open. I'm knocking at the door. If any man would open. So in the last days, we do not expect the whole 
church to be purified and revived. Well, that is our desire and prayer. But as you see in the scriptures, in the last days, it is not the whole church, but few among the believers who would stand faithful to God. So the challenge before us tonight as we study this is do we or do I belong to that small remnant? That small faithful remnant who do not follow the ways of Satan. Followers of Antipas who would not bow down to the devil. So that is the challenge that comes to us as we continue our study. Small remnant. Do we belong to that group? Okay, we will now look at the church, uh, the letter itself. These things saith he that hath the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. Now we said that the introduction is taken from chapter 1. Now it is not John who takes that from chapter 1. The Lord himself uh, uh, gives this introduction about himself. Now, the first thing it says, the one who had the seven spirits of God. Now, that is taken uh, from chapter 1 as we know. It is found in uh, chapter 1 and verse 4. In the introduction it says uh, from the seven spirits which are before his throne. And then it says and uh, uh, the one who has the seven stars that is found in chapter 1 verse 16. He had in his right hand seven stars. So that is how the Lord introduces himself as the writer. Now in our earlier class we already talked about the seven, uh, seven, uh, seven spirits. Ephesians 4, 4 tells us that there is only one spirit. But these are just seven aspects of the same Holy Spirit. Yes, seven in the Bible shows fullness and completeness and perfection. It is not seven Holy Spirits. One Spirit and in Isaiah 11 and verse 2, we read it the other day, there you see sevenfold Holy Spirit or seven aspects of the Holy Spirit. In Zechariah chapter 4, when you read verses 1 to 10 carefully, there is a symbolic de depiction of the Holy Spirit uh, as a lampstand with seven lamps. You can read that later. So there also Holy Spirit and seven come together. So it is one spirit but seven aspects of the same spirit. So he has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars. Now, 
what do you, why do you think the, the, the Lord introduces himself thus here? There can be many reasons. But we can naturally assume or guess some reasons. You know the Lord is going to call this church a dead church. We know that it is the spirit that giveth life. All of us know that. He is one who has the spirit. He is the one who is writing. But what do, you, what do they lack now? They lack spirit. Or they lack life. Who gives them life? It is the Holy Spirit that gives them life. Now when I say they have no spirit, I don't mean that the believers have no Holy Spirit. But the spirit, the working of the spirit of God is hindered. You know, on the day of Pentecost, the church was formed by the descending of the Holy Spirit. And life came from the through the Holy Spirit to the church. And it is the Holy Spirit that is at work today in the church. Holy Spirit is building the church. So, when the work of the Holy Spirit is hindered, that means when individual believers do not yield to the promptings of the Holy Spirit. When we do not listen to the Holy Spirit, when we refuse the control of the Holy Spirit in our day to day life, when we grieve the Holy Spirit as we read in the book of Ephesians, when we quench the Spirit as we read in Thessalonians, when we do these things, the power and the life becomes very dim. The church loses its power and its life. That is the condition of this church now. The spirit of the of God, His working is hindered. Spirit is grieved. So death is coming in. Instead of manifesting spiritual life and light, death is creeping in. And death has gripped this church at Sardis. And the Lord says, I am the one who has the spirit. It is this spirit that can give you life. If you repent and confess your sins, there will be a flow of new life into you. That is called revival. What's the meaning of revival? You know, the life is, it comes back again. You know, it gets encouraged or strengthened or uh, 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 it becomes stronger. When, when you listen to this message and confess our failure, the Spirit of God revives us. So that may be the reason why the Lord introduces Himself as the one who has the seven spirits of God. Dearly beloved, we also need the working of the Holy Spirit today. Some people say, you have no Holy Spirit. And uh, some of us are terribly afraid of the Holy Spirit. If you hear the word Holy Spirit, you said, no, please, no. We have, it is total confusion, we have nothing to do with it. 
that may be the reason why they say that we have no spirit we don't have to be afraid of the holy spirit there is absolutely no confusion with the holy spirit the confusion is with people not with the spirit he is one in, in the trinity it is by his work that we are saved conviction of sin comes through him and the greatest work of the holy spirit today as the lord jesus taught in john's gospel is to show christ Holy Spirit today it is not to manifest himself it is to glorify the son in John 16 the Lord Jesus taught that you know the Holy Spirit speaks of me he shall glorify me so the work of the Holy Spirit today is not glorifying himself but glorifying Christ but in some circles we feel that in among them the work of the Holy Spirit is mainly glorifying the Holy Spirit but we don't have to be afraid of the Holy Spirit he indwells every believer we need to yield to all that he says in our day to day life the Bible says we need to be filled with the Holy Spirit in Ephesians chapter 5 that means we need to be controlled by the Holy Spirit just as a man who is drunk is controlled by wine in the same way a man who, who comes under the control of the Holy Spirit his lifestyle is transformed by the Holy Spirit all those who are born again they have the Holy Spirit but our responsibility is to yield to the working of the Spirit of God in our day to day life you know obey his promptings he slowly you know gently he prompts us he speaks to us he directs us then obey that yield our life to his total control that is a spirit filled life and what is the evidence of that not the gifts of the spirit but the fruit of the spirit Galatians Galatians 5.22 love joy peace nine things are mentioned there what is it actually fruit of the spirit is actually the character of Christ so I told you that the work of the Holy Spirit is to produce Christ or manifest Christ in our lives so when the Lord Jesus is seen in all his glory and his lovely character in each one of us that means the Holy Spirit is really at work within us oh let me tell you this exciting thing you know in Philippines we read God uh, chapter 2 verse 13 it is God which worketh in you both to will and to do of his good pleasure God working in you when the Bible 
Bible says God works in you that is the reference to the Holy Spirit God working in me is the Holy Spirit working so the Spirit of God is at work in the life of every believer okay what is the work it says first to will that means he gives us the desire to live a godly life that is the meaning of to will so the Holy Spirit first of all gives me the willingness to live a holy life secondly and to do that means he gives me the desire and the ability to live that life I don't know how many of you have understood this verse this is very important let me say that again today the spirit of God working in me he does two things he gives me the willingness to live a godly life and he also gives me the ability to live a godly life then why is it that we don't live that life when the Holy Spirit works in me giving me a desire willing to give me ability you know I refuse to take it I quench the working of the Spirit. He tells me this is how you should live. He prompts me, he gives me desire. But then I have my own agenda for my life, I have my own programs for my life. And instead of listening to him, I listen to myself. As a result, what happens? That work is spoiled. That is how we become dead. Our spiritual vigor is gone. By death, I don't mean losing our salvation. You are a believer, you are going to heaven, no doubt. But the spiritual life is not visible, it is deadness. Remember this verse in Philippians always. God is at work within me to give me a desire to live a godly life and the ability to live a godly life. He gives us all the help and resources to live a godly life. But if I am not willing to take it, then the Holy Spirit also can do nothing. Here is a poor beggar. I am willing to give him money. I am willing to help him. But if he refuses to take my help, which millionaire in the world can help him? That's our situation. You know, in, uh, we read in the book of Peter, God has given us all that we need to live a godly life. Everything we need. That is why we have absolutely no excuse for not living a godly life. When we stand at the judgment seat of Christ, I tell you we will have absolutely no excuse. 
Because the Spirit of God wanted to give, make you willing and He wanted to give you the ability. But we had our own desires higher or on top of the spiritual desires. God at work within me. Do you realize that? In each moment of your life, the struggles in your family life, the problems in your office, various decisions you have to make every day. At every point, God is working in you. The Spirit of God to make you more like Christ, to teach you humility, to teach you love. God is at work within me. But very often we resist. And God is helpless. You know when you drive down that road. Sometimes the, in some places you see a boat. Men at work. We all need to put a sticker on our forehead. God at work. God is at work in me. Every moment of my life. That is the work of the Holy Spirit. But when I refuse His work, when I resist Him, deadness comes. Then I have a name that I am alive, but I am dead. Well, it is this. Uh, he says, the one who had the seven spirits of God. The life giving spirit. Talking to the dead church. Okay, the second thing mentioned here seven stars. In, in chapter 1, verse 20, we read that seven stars speak of the uh, seven messengers. The leadership of the church. Maybe uh, the, the uh, representative of the church or the leadership is personified, put as a person. But I want to say something very important here. The Lord works in the churches today through these two means. Through the Holy Spirit and through the leadership. In Acts 20 we read that it is the Holy Spirit who appoints leaders. Elders. So how is the church being built today? Through the working of the Holy Spirit and through godly eldership. So we talked about the Holy Spirit. Let me say a word about the eldership. Because the Lord mentions it here. To the dead church, He reminds them that life can come only through the working of the Holy Spirit and through godly leadership. When these two things are lacking, when these two things are ignored, death creeps into the church. The leadership of the church is very important. Now, you know, we know that the leaders of the church are called elders. 
and many people have started thinking that the biblical eldership that we believe is no more practical palapolu palaru chindikkarundu veda pusthakathil parannirikkunna ee sabhile mookunmar ennullathu innu prayogikamalla ennu nam vicharikkarundu the exclusive brethren led by darby they believe that it is impossible to follow this so they have a like a universal uh, head ഒരു <laughs> strict they are exclusive nam ingena vicharikkarundu nammada kootathilulla muppanmar vala alpa karkasham ullavar avar exclusive aanu nam chindikkarundu that is not exclusive brother adu exclusive brother alla exclusive brother is like a cult exclusive brother garu nu parnal avaru pratheegamaayi vibhagam durupadesham padipikkunna oru sanghadana pole aanu they believe in household baptism not an individual baptism avar kudumbathinte snanathil aanu vishwasikkunnathu oru vyaktiyudeyum snanathil alla they don't believe in this eldership that we ഇല്ല <laughs> it cannot be practiced that's what they believe avar vishwasikkunnathu veda pusthakathil parannirikkunna sabhayoda nedrnira aa prakaram ullo oru kaaryam ippol prayogyam alla but people who got light on this ennal idine kurichu velichamil vichavu they divided and they came away ennal avar vibhagichu avar adil ninnu maari varuvanade aayi ava brother charles wick whom some of you know he is one among them namakku ariyavana pole priya charles wick angareulla oru vyakti aayirunnu who came away separated from that group aa oru kootathil ninnu pinmaari no 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 okay now even we who are not exclusives we have also started believing that this is not practical ennal exclusive allatha nammal polum idu prayogyam alla ennu vishwasichu thodangi irikkunnu all this eldership and all it doesn't work today inna ipragaramulla muppanmar allekil inganeyulla nerunira inna pravartikkilla it does work and that will say to him in that prayogyam thaneyana if the new testament teaches that pudhiya neema adu padipikkunnengil it must work adu thirchayum adu prayogyamaganam elders are to be godly mupanmar avar deivabhayamun deivabhakti ullavarayirikkanam people should submit to them janangal sabhayile vishwasangal avar keelpettirikkanam and the holy spirit appoints elders deivathinte parishuddhaanga mupanmar yaakki vekkumbol we recognize them naam avare avare angeerikkanda avashyamaanu and such churches who follow that practice you know they can work well ingeyulla karyangal pindudarna sabhagalukku nalla reethiyil pravartikkuvan saadhikkum in different countries of the world i have seen this system work very well naan logathinte anega rajyangalil ee ipragaramulla prakriya valare nannayittu pravartikkunnathu naan kandittundu and i am very happy to say that in my own church it works very well enikku valare santosham undu ipragaram parayvan ende sonda sabhayil idu valare nannayi thanne idu prayogamayirikkunnu for the past many years kadinja anega varshangalayi we have elders njangalukku moopumar undu we listen to them njangal avarku shruddhikkarundu we have absolutely no confusion about it njangal kadhe kurichu yadhara vidhamaaya aashaya kulappum illa it is working very well adu valare nannayi pravartikkunnu so the new testament system still works we don't need any other system namakariya pudhiya neema samvidhanangal ippolum pravartichu konde irikkunnu we don't need any other system namakku matte oru samvidhanathinte aavashyam illa but if people become unspiritual this Anna, won't work ennal janangal anaathmeeravumbol idu prayogyamaagada varu see new testament is written only for spiritual people do you know that ningalkku ariyamo pudhiya neemam ennallathu aathmeeraayavarkku vendi mathram ezhudapettadaanu if the elder tells sit down open irikkuvan aavashyapadumbol you say no i won't sit down ningal parayunnilla naan irikkeyilla what's the solution endana adinte pradhividhi no solution adinte oru pradhividhiyum illa mopan says you get out mopan parayu ningal porathu pogu don't take part from the lord's table kadhavana meshil pangadukkaadirikkya you say no 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 i will take part ningal parayunnilla naan idu 
What can the elder do? Nothing. Elder is not a circle inspector. Only if people are spiritual, this system will work. If people are unspiritual, then this system won't work. But God fulfills his plan for the church through godly eldership. When these truths are ignored, when the working of the Spirit is ignored, when godly leadership is ignored, then the church becomes dead. I am sorry to say that is what has happened to many, many churches. So, what an apt uh, introduction the Lord gives to these churches about Himself. And what a great responsibility for elders. You see, they are standing in the place of God. Do you elders realize that? You are standing instead of God. In the place of God you are standing. What a great responsibility. There is one thing under the sun that I don't understand. People wanting to be elders. I just don't understand. That. This eldership is the most difficult Christian job. Our, pre our preaching, itinerary preaching, Bible teaching, everything is much easier than you elders work. Which is the most difficult Christian service? Being an elder. And people are fighting all over the world for that seat. Most divisions, 99.9% .9 divisions in churches are for eldership and because of elders. In my opinion, even if somebody chases after you to make you elder, please run away and get you know get saved. Do you know what I mean? Only if the Lord really makes you an elder. Then you become one. But don't try to become an elder. Why? It is such a responsible job. You are going to stand in the place of God. You are answerable to God for the sheep. Oh, what wisdom, what grace you need, how much trouble you need to take. Do you know why people fight to become elders? They haven't understood the seriousness of the job. They think it is like becoming the president or secretary of some organization. Oh my friend, this is a very difficult job. Only if God brings you there, you come there. Don't become an elder because people want to make you an elder. It is through you that the quality of the church is going to be maintained. The quality of the church depends on the quality of the eldership. Who wants to take this big burden on their head? 
unless the lord really puts it there please don't take it devam avare adaki vekkade orikkalum ningal adu edukkaradu it is through the holy spirit and godly eldership that god works god builds the church today adhe devathinte parishuddha aavil kodi deiva bhaktiyulla nedrasthanathil kodiyumana deivam thande sabhaye paranju kondirikkunnathu and then the lord says adhesham karthaa parayunu i know your works enikku ninde pravartigal ariya i know in all seven letters ya ella yedu doodugalum naan kaanunnu ya ariyum i know all about you na ninne kurichu sagalavum enikku ariya now what do i know about you ninne kurichu enikku endha ariya vannu that you have a name that you live and you but you are dead ninne The outward appearance is there. And we can deceive people through outward appearance. But the Lord can never be fooled. John MacArthur says John MacArthur ipragar parnu these people are playing church avaru sabha ennalla avaru sabha kalikiyanu parnu have you seen our children playing church nammada kunnigal ee sabha kalikunnathu kandittille my daughters also used to play when they were small ende penkunnigal avaru cheridayana pole ind kalikumayirun they have bread and wine avaru mundil avaru appum veenu edukkum they put uh, covering on their head avaru thalayil avaru thuni idumayirunu and somebody preaches chela prasangikumayirunu that is playing church adu ും and john macarthur uses an illustration uh, john macarthur in a udaharanam upayogikunu you know when you go to some museums naam chila museums il kadannu povumbol there are stuffed animals kept there mrugangale avade padichu vechirikkunathu kaanuvan sadhikkum in their natural habitat is created avade sodha siddhamaya avade avaru vaasasthalam avade undaakki vechirikkum some trees are there or rivers are there avare avade chila marangalum oru nadhi okkey kaana and different animals are stuffed Uh, and kept there enna chila mrugangale marichu mrugangale avade ingane padichu vechirikkunathu kaanuvan sadhikkum they look so real adu valare yadarthyam aanu namukku thonu but only one problem enna oru prashnam mathrame ullu no life to these animals enna ee mrugangalukku jeevan illa john macarthur says that is a picture of sadis enna john macarthur parayunathu adana sadisile sabayude chithram ennallathu when i read it i really liked that example that's why i told you enna adu vaichappol enikku avadharanam valare adhigam ishtamaya adondana njan adu everything It looks all right ellam seriyaayittu namukku thonu they look so real adu valare yadharthyam ennu thonu background is very real pastathram ennalu valare yadharthamaanu everything is uh, looks real ellam yadhartham pole kaanunu but no life ennal jeevan illa that is the situation in sardis sardisile avastha idana is that the situation in our place nammada sthalathum idano sahajariyam we need to judge ourselves namukku namme thana vedikkanda avashyam undu so these people why do they have a name endu kondana avarku or peru undayirunnathu you have a name that you live ninakku jeevan ullavan ennu peru undu ennu nam kaanunu how do you think they got the name enganeyana ee peru avarku labichu ennu ningal chindikkunnathu i think because there was a time when they were manifesting life ennal oru kaal ജീവനുള്ളവരായിരുന്നു Uh, they are boasting of a glorious past avar adangale purvagalate avar mahutvate chelli avar bhungacham parayna oru sabhayayittu theerundirikkunu they are shining by the glory of the past adhe avare purvagalathinte aa oru mahutvam kondu prakashikkunavarai theerundirikkunu i think many churches are like that pala sabhagalum upragaramulladana oh during the 
टाइम्स ऑफ के वी साइमन सर वी यूज टू डू सो मेनी थिंग के वी साइमन सर का काल तुम्हें अनेक कार्य में चेंज करते हैं सो व्हाट അതുകൊണ്ട് എന്താണ് what do you do now ഇപ്പോൾ നിങ്ങൾ എന്താണ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് that is what god wants to know അതാണ് ദൈവത്തിന് ആ അറിയാൻ ആവശ്യമായിട്ടുള്ളത് very often we say in those days we used to do so many things നാം പലപ്പോഴും നാം പറയാറുണ്ട് ആ കാലങ്ങളിൽ ഞാൻ ഞങ്ങൾ ഇങ്ങനെ കേം ചെയ്യാറുണ്ടായിരുന്നു but what do you do now എന്നാൽ ഇപ്പോൾ നിങ്ങൾ എന്താണ് ചെയ്യുന്നത് nothing ഒന്നും തന്നെ ചെയ്യുന്നില്ല you know there are some believers who can be called as peacock believers ah palare mail vishwasigalayitte namakku velikkan sadhikkum do you know what's the meaning of that adinte artham endanu ariyamo this is not my usage i heard somebody say this idu ente prayogam alla mattu chilla parayunna naan kettadana preachers steal and borrow also prasangir palapolum palaru kadam eduthu samsarikkarundu okay so a preacher was saying or prasangir ipragaram parayundayi peacock believer means mail ne polulla vishwasigal ennu paranja you know when the peacock walk ഈ മയിൽ നടക്കുമ്പോൾ the whole beauty is behind അതിന്റെ സർവ സൗന്ദര്യവും അതിന്റെ പരകവശത്താണ് you know the tail part അതിന്റെ ആ വാലിന്റെ ഭാഗത്താണ് that is where the whole beauty is അതിന്റെ മുഴുവൻ സൗന്ദര്യവും ആ ഒരു ഭാഗത്താണ് spread out like an umbrella ഒരു കുട പോലെ അത് വിടർന്നു നിൽക്കുന്നു so when the peacock walks ഈ മയിൽ ഇങ്ങനെ നടന്നു പോകുമ്പോൾ it keeps on saying come on look behind അത് ഇപ്പോൾ പ്രകാരം പറഞ്ഞുകൊണ്ടിരിക്കുകയാണ് എന്റെ പിൻവലയിലേക്ക് നോക്കുക don't look at my face എന്റെ മുഖത്തേക്ക് നോക്കരുത് my face is so small എന്റെ മുഖം വളരെ ചെറുതാണ് nothing attractive ആരാണോ So here they have a name, but there's no life. Now, if we have a good pair of the, now we have a good life. That is called hypocrisy. That is called hypocrisy. What is hypocrisy? What is hypocrisy? Having an external form of something. A form of anything that we do, but without a vast. But inside there is no power. And now, if the other shakti is not there, vast. That is hypocrisy. That is. മനസ്സിലാക്കാൻ has the lord ever condemned a drunkard or a thief or a prostitute devam oru rathum oru veshiyo oru madhyavani oru kallaneyo kutupettiyadayittu naan kaanunnilla in in the in the in the ministry of the lord jesus kathava yesu christuvinte shishrusha kaalathu do you ever hear this lord saying woe unto you thieves kallanmare ningal kayyo kashtam ennu kathava yesu evadengil paranadayittu ningal kandittundu woe unto you drunkards madhyavanigale ningal kayyo kashtam ennu kathava evadengil paranadayittu woe unto you tax collectors publicans adhe chungakare ningal kayyo The Lord never said that. कथा वो एक ही बंगले पर नहीं चला। They were bad people. आह और मोश माय जरे ना। Immoral people. और असल अब असल में आगे रह जरे ना। People going to hell. आह और नरेगा तुरंत कोई कोई डर गया रहेगा ना। But you see, not even in one place, the Lord Jesus condemning them. ना देवम कथा वो ये सिर्फ तो वाले कुत्ते पर तो ना आए वो एक तो बोल ना मगर गाड़ मार साधे की नहीं ला। But in so many Read Matthew 10 to 23, the whole chapter. Chapter 23. In the strongest possible language, the Lord Jesus denounces hypocrites. Saat ini orang la, yang cuma kadinya mah ya bahasil, deh ini um kabar bakti, abade syasi kita ada orang kan. They were people who believed the Bible, the Old Testament. Ada orang pelajar ni mandi lusus itu jernih jernih ngalai ada orang. They went to synagogue. Ada orang pelajar ni boleh ada orang. They gave tithes. Ada orang ada orang ada syamsi kudu ada orang. They prayed and fasted. Ada orang tu sikit yang berat sikit yang jernih ada orang. They went around, uh, you know, to make people converts. Uh, they went around on missionary work to make others converts mattulavare ivar madathilekku kondu varayittu avar pravartikkuvanayittu avar poyirunnu they prayed so many times a day oru divasam anega samayangal avar prarthikkumayirunnu but the lord jesus looked at them and said who unto you enna kadha avare nokki parayunu ningalku ayyo kashtam 
You hypocrites! What strong language the Lord uses! Why is it so? Why doesn't he denounce the harlots and the publicans and drunkards? Why does he denounce the hypocrites? Do you know the reason? About these other groups of people, there is no pretense. See, a sinful woman, she doesn't appear to be very holy. A drunkard doesn't pretend that he is going to heaven. A publican doesn't claim to have any, you know, anything to do with God. But why did the Lord Jesus denounce the Pharisees? They had a name as godly. They had a name. They pretended to, to be godly. But inside there was nothing. So this is something the Lord hates with all his heart. Remember the Lord hates that in us also. God is not looking for perfection from us overnight. But God is looking for honesty in our life. Dear brothers and sisters, this one sentence can change your whole life. What is that sentence? God is not looking for perfection overnight. He is looking for honesty first. God wants us to be perfect. But the first thing is not that. Be honest. If we have no spiritual life, go and tell the Lord. Lord, there is death in me. I cannot worship you properly. My love for money is increasing, it's not decreasing. I'm not able to forgive that sister. I'm not able to love that brother. Something is wrong with me. I want victory. I need deliverance. That is honesty. That is what God demands from you first. God will help such people who seek his help in honesty. But those who pretend to be living and have no life, God cannot help them. So it says in verse 2, the latter part of verse 2, the last part of verse 2, I have not found thy works perfect before God. I have weighed you in the balance that you are wanting. You know, you are found wanting. Your works, you have not completed what you started. You, are, you, you have not become mature. In 2 Timothy chapter 3 and verse 17, we read why the word of God is given to us. It is given so that the man of God may be Perfect. Perfect means fully grown, mature. I see a lot of imperfections in your work. I have not seen perfection in your work. Therefore, what to do? There are 
four things that you need to do naalu karyangalum nee cheyyandadayittundu we will go one by one naam oru maayitt adile kadakkamallo first one onnavadai in verse 2 ayinte rendam vaakyathil be watchful or wake up or be alert unarnu kolluga enna naam avada kaanunu you know in different translations use different words anega tarjimugal anega padangal aanu ubhayogichirikkunnathu in malayalam it is wake up right malayalathil unarnu kolluga enna padam aanu ubhayogichirikkunnathu in some english verses versions you see be alert and watchful na chila tarjimugal kaanadanayittu sadhikkunnathu ningal valare jagrathayodu kuda aayirikkuka ennu arthathilana you know uh, there may be a reason for that particular instruction avaru uh, prathega nirdeshathinu pinnil endengilum kaaranangal undayirikkam when you study the history of sardis sardis sabhayude charithram nam padikkumbol two times it says the enemies captured the fortress or the citadel of sardis because the soldiers slept rendu pravashyam sardisile aa oru kota shatrukal pidichadaki adinte kaaranam ennallathu avade undayunna padayaligal urangi poi yeah you read that about sardis nam sardisine kurichu angane vaayikkunnundu two times enemies captured sardis because they were not alert because they slept rendu pravashyam shatrukal ee sardisine keeladaki adinte kaaranam ennallathu avar jagrathe ullavarayirunnilla ശേഷിപ്പുകൾ <laughs> <laughs> strengthen the spiritual realities that you already have ningalkulla aathmigamaya satyangale yaadarthyangale ningal shaktigarikkuka and verse 3 munamathe vaakyam ah uh, we read there that you keep up or hold fast what you have heard and received aagyal ni praavikkeyum kelkkeyum cheyidadane ni pidichukolluga kaathukolluga ennoda parannirikkunu you know by this time most of the new testament books were written ee yore kaalagattathil pudhiya neema pusthakal okke indane ezhudapettirunnu most of them ane pala pudhiya neema pusthakal ezhudapettirunnu so they had enough material to read and understand adu kondu avarku vaaikkuvanum manasilaakkuvanum anega pusthakal undayirunnu remember what you have heard and studied ningal kelkkeyum ningal padikkeyum cheyidathu Remember it. Adine ningal orthukolluga. Hold on to it. Adine ningal kaathukolluga. And fourth thing, naalamathai prepare. Ningal manasaandra peduga. So there are four things that they have to do. Na avaru cheyanda naalu kaaryangal undu. They have to watch avar unarnu avar kaaval cheyidukondu jagrathayodu kodi irikkanam. Strengthen what is weak. Avar avarda chaavaraya avarda sheshipugale shakti irikkanam. Hold fast the good spiritual uh, truths that you have learned. Avar padicha yadartha nalla aathmiga satyane kurga pidichukolluga. And also repent. Adinu sesham manasaandra peduga. I think for us also to become lively we also need to do these four things namum jeevanulla ora aichirayendadine ee naalu karyangal cheyyendadayittundu otherwise if you don't do that and i am not doing it like i will come as a thief yan oru kallane pole varum and you will not know what hour i will come upon thee ee ee naalikkana yan ninde mel varunnu nee arikkilla probably as these enemies came to service as thieves at night you know maybe like that i will come that may be the meaning ee satrukal kallanmare pole ee sardisinu mel vannathu pole adu pole njan ningalle melum kadannu varum that is i will come in judgment adu njan ningalle nyay vidikkayitte da kadannu varunu but verse four says nalala vakyam parayunu thou has a few names even in sardis which have not defiled their garments and they shall walk with me in white for they are worthy oda na vaikkunengil udupu malinamagatha kore pere sardisinu nenakkundu avar yogyanmara in some translations it says there are some persons people na chela tarjumayi parayunnathu ningalde idil chela vyaktigalu undu nanu parayunnathu but in the original it says there are few names na yadartha parivashaye chela perigal nanu parannirikkunnathu what does that mean endana adinte artham the lord knows these people each one of them by name that's the meaning ee oro vyaktigaleyum karthavaroda peru kondu ariyan nanu adinte artham so the lord says adondu karthavu parayunnathu there are some in sardis who have not defiled their garments avaru udupu malinamagatha chilar sardisilundu and i know each one of them by name avaru oru oru thirey menikku avaru peru kondu ariyam what a wonderful thing a yathra variya sreshtakaramaya vasthuda in the midst of spiritual death adhe aathmiyamaya maranathu 
ജനസംഖ്യയുടെ നാട് വരും മെജോറിറ്റി ഹാവ് നോ ലൈഫ് ഭൂരിപക്ഷം പേർക്കും ജീവനില്ല ബട്ട് ദി ലോർഡ് സേസ് എന്നാൽ കർത്താവ് പറയുന്നു സം ചിലര് യു ഹാവ് നോട്ട് സ്പോയിൽഡ് യുവർ ഗാർമെന്റ്സ് നിങ്ങളുടെ ഉടുപ്പ് മലിനമാകാത്ത ചിലര് ഐ ടോൾഡ് യു ദാറ്റ് സർവീസ് ഇസ് എ പ്ലേസ് വെയർ ഗാർമെന്റ്സ് ആൻഡ് വൂൾ ആൻഡ് dying you know is very popular and then you know what sardis and what is the pradesh thunikum adu or pannikum adu thuniki niram kodukunnathu valare peru ketadayunu so that may be the reason why the lord is using this adu konda irike katha uprakaram oru pada prayogam kodu upayogikkunnathu some people whose clothes have not been colored not been stained they udupil malinada udupil kara varulatha chila vyaktigal ningalde idayil undu so people there they understand it well because that is what they see every day avade vala janangalukku idu valare pettanu who are they those who have kept their characters pure there are some like that and i know who they are by name does the lord know our name in that category does the lord and know my name in that category avaru kootha the devathana ende per ariyamo and uh, they will walk in white with me avaru ennodu kooda vella dharichu kondu nadakkum they are because they are worthy kaaranam avaru adinu yogyanmaarana you know these white dresses were worn at special festivals and celebrations prathega ulsavangalilum aagoshangalilum aayirunnu ee vella yudukku dharichirunnathu especially when they win a victory over enemies satrukalana mel oru jayam praavikkumbol the brave soldiers aa thiranmaara yodhakal they are when they come as a procession avaru oru ulsavam pole oru oru ghosham pole avaru nadandu varumbol their relatives would be given white dress avaru bendukalukku oru vella vastram kodukkumayirunnu and they would walk wearing white dress avaru ee vella dharichu kondu avaru nadakkumayirunnu so that shows celebrity someone who is important it shows joy or victory adu sandoshavum vijayavum adu pole pradhanapetta vyaktigaleyum kaanikkunnathana and those who have not defiled themselves thangale thanne malinamaakatha they will wear white avar vella dharikkum they will be appreciated avare prashamsikkum they will they will receive glory and honor avarku mahathwam avarku maanam labikkum and uh, they will walk with me avar ennodu kooda nadakkum verse 5 adhyayam vakyam he that overcometh jeikkunavan the same shall be clothed in white raiment avan jeikkunavanum vella yudupa dharikkum well that can mean the same thing ee naam aadime parnadhu thaniyana ivide marthamaakkunnathu I will not blot out his name out of the book of life. Avante pere njan jeeva pusthakathil ninnum maayichu karayilla. But I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. Ente pidavante sannidhilum avante doodanmaada munbilum avante pere ichu parayum. Now this blotting out our name from the book of life has created confusion in the minds of many people. Ee jeeva pusthakathil pere maayichu karayum ennulla aa oru pada prayogam aashaya kolpam janangalde idil undaakiyittundu. There is no need of confusion. Ennal aashaya kolpathinte yaadhar aavashyam illa. In very passages in the bible you read of several books naam devathinte vadanathinte anega idangalil naam anega pusthakangale kurichu vaayikkunu in some place you read book of the living jeevan ullavarude peru ulla pusthakam ennu naam kaanunu and some places you read book of life jeevante pusthakam ennu chila bhagil naam kaanunu they are not the same idu rendum onnalla we have no time to go to all those verses aa vaakyangal illa povan namukku samayam illallo but for the sake of clarity let me say this naal vyaktathikku vendi naan idu parannu kollatte the old testament pale neemathil you know the book that is referred to mainly avada paranjirikkunna pusthakam ennulladhu it is a book in which the names of all the living people are written idu vare jeevichirunna ella manushurude per eduthapettirunna pusthakam aanu pale neemathil soojipichirikkunnathu that is a civil register that was a custom in those days aa kaalangalil undayirunna oru neemam aayirunnu ellavarude per ipragaram eduthanam ennulladhu it is a register or record of all those who are alive adhe jeevichirikkunnavarude ellavarude oru rekhayayitt aa pusthakam irunnirunnu but if you become a criminal enna ningal oru kuttavaali aayi thirunna and you are killed you are punished ningale sikshichu ningal marichu poyengil or when you die a natural death avaru sobhagamaya marana ningalku lebichuvengil your name is erased from that book aa oru pusthakathil ningala peru maichu kalanirunnu so that is the book of the living that is the a government register adu sarkarinte oru rekhayayitt adu irunnirunnu ee jeevichirikkunnavarude pusthakam ennulladhu now in these parts of turkey in these parts of asia minor asia minor le ee bhagangalil when caesar worship emperor worship became prominent chakravarthi aaradhikkunnathu kudal പ്രാധാന്യം അർഹിച്ചു വന്നപ്പോൾ and when believers refused to say caesar is lord വിശ്വാസികൾ കൈസർ ദൈവമാണെന്ന് പറയുവാൻ അവർ നിരാകരിച്ചപ്പോൾ they were branded as as a, a traitors അവരെ നുഴഞ്ഞുകയറ്റക്കാരെന്ന നിലയിൽ അവരെ വിളിക്കുവാൻ അല്ലേ 
They were treated as convicts, criminals. And they would lose the citizenship. Their names are erased from the book. That is what was being done to Christians. They are not killed physically. Some are killed. But when you are convicted of not uh, worshipping uh, Caesar, you are you are treated, branded as a traitor and a criminal, and your name is erased from the civil book. That may be the context in which the Lord says this. But what will I do? I will not blot out your name from the book of life. So this book of life is the book in which the names of all believers are written. The first book that I talked about, book in the Old Testament, it is a civil register. From that book your name may be erased calling you a traitor. But to the faithful, the Lord is saying, those who prove the genuineness of their salvation through their faith, your name may be taken out from the register in your land. But rejoice that your names are written in heaven. And I will never blot out your name from that book. And I will confess your name before my father and before his angels. So what are the rewards promised? They will be clothed in white garment. They will walk with the Lord. And that means they will be honored. And their names will not be raised from God's book, though it may be raised from the government's book. Not only that, God is the Lord is going to confess our name before the Father and before His angels. Oh, what a day that will be. It is not easy to stand faithful here. Lot of trouble, suffering, ridicule. But when the Lord will confess our name before the Father, one word of approval from the lips of our Lord. That will erase from our minds the memory of a lifetime of suffering and ridicule. So dear brother, though it is difficult here, the Spirit of God will help you. Stand faithful. Don't bow to the devil. Don't let your clothes be defiled be stained. You may be ridiculed. You may be persecuted. But it is only for a short time. In eternity, when the Lord will commend you. In that one moment, one word of approval from the Lord, that will erase from your memory all memories of the trouble and the ridicule and the persecution that you 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 endured for 60 years.
therefore adagonde shall we take courage tonight in raathri kaalam namukku dhairyam veendu edukkaamo and with this word of encouragement shall we return home ee oru prasaanathinte vaakkalumayittu namukku bhavanathilekku madangi pogaam with this determination ee oru theermaanathode let anything happen endu thanne sambhavichattu i will stand faithful to god naan devathinu munnil vishwasthanayittu i will live a godly life naan devu bhayamulla oru jeevitham nadu i will not allow my cloth my garment to be stained ende udupil karavarulva naan sammadikkilla I will yield to the working of the Holy Spirit in me. And the deeds of the devil in the parish that man of God has done, I will yield to it. I will yield to the leadership of that God has appointed in the church. The even staff which has appointed the leader that I will yield to it. And I will walk with the Lord every day. I will do some things that the Lord will not do. And one day the Lord will honor me. Ah, one day some things will not be done. That will compensate for all the loss we suffer here. Ah, that is not the same as the loss that we suffer here. Ah, that is not the same as the loss that we suffer here. Ah, that is not the same as the loss that we suffer here. Ah, that is not the same as the loss that we suffer here. Ah, that is not the same as the loss that we suffer here. Ah, that is not the same as the loss that we suffer here. Ah, that is not the same as the loss that we suffer here. Ah, that is not the same as the loss that we suffer here. Ah, that is not the same as the loss that we suffer here. Ah, that is not the same as the loss that we suffer here. Ah, that is not the same as the loss that we suffer here. Ah, that is not the same as the loss that we suffer here. Ah, that is not the same as the loss that we suffer here. Ah, that is not the same as the loss that we suffer here. Ah, that is not the same as the loss that we suffer here. Ah, that is not the same as the loss that we suffer here. Ah, that is not the same as the loss that we suffer here. Ah, that is not the same as the loss that we suffer here. Ah, that is not the same as the loss that we suffer here. Ah, that is not the same as the loss that we suffer here. Ah, that is not the same as the loss that we suffer here. Ah, that is not the same as the loss that we suffer here. Ah, that is not the same as the loss that we suffer here. Ah, that is not the same as the loss that we suffer here. Ah, that is not the same as the loss that we suffer here. Ah, that is not the same as the loss that we suffer here. Ah, that is not the same as the loss that we suffer here. Ah, that is not the same as the loss that we suffer here. Ah, that is not the same as the loss that we suffer here. Ah, that is not the same as the loss that we suffer here. Ah, that is not the same as the loss that we suffer here. Ah, that is not the same as the loss that we suffer here. Ah, that is not the same as the loss that we suffer here. Ah, that is not the same as the loss that we suffer here. Ah, that is not the same as the loss that we suffer here. Ah, that is not the same as the